And a very warm welcome to the product update video of the third quarter. My name is Leo Draxel, product marketing lead here at Chernobyl. And in just five minutes, I would like to show you what has been released and launched in the past quarter that you definitely should not miss. So let's just jump straight into it. The first update concerns the PPC tool. We have launched the PMAX generator, and that's significant out of two reasons. Now, first, Google replaces all smart shopping campaigns with PMAX campaigns. And secondly, you can now, as the name suggests, uh, create PMAX campaigns based on GMC feeds directly in Genable. Simply go to the shopping ads tab on the left-hand side, click on add dynamic shopping ads generator, choose your Google ads connection, give it a name and type in your Google merchant ID and simply select performance max and then click on save. And you are then as usual in the campaign generator where you can set up your rules. You can create the campaigns, the PMAX campaigns dynamically based on the field in your product feed. You can create product listings. And of course you can preview your result before you set it live. Our next update concerns Microsoft advertising. Microsoft has added a new ad format to their advertising suite called vertical ads. Now vertical ads are powered by a data feed and Microsoft promises a richer ad experience and better conversions for specific industries. For example, the automotive financial services or the travel sector. And we have added that feed now in our ad templates so you can power and start up your own vertical ads as of now. Our next update is brief, but important for many of our customers. You are now able to import JSON and XML zip files into Chernobyl. Simply copy paste a zip address, click on import and Chernobyl will fetch all the data. Our next update concerns the importer V2. You are now able to see what project fields come from what import source. If I click now on setup project fields, which is the overview that contains all the fields from all my imports, I see what field comes from what import here in the used in import uh, column. And if I click on an import, let's say import two here, the EAN number, it jumps straight back to the mapping stage where I can make adjustment to the fields. And finally, we have a couple of updates for our Amazon and ball.com repriser. And I'm going to the repriser now for my ball.com connection. So I click to the rules, click to the repriser rules, and I click on selected items, which shows me all items that are being reprised. The first update concerns a new filter. So under filter here on top, I can select as of now products that are offline, which simply shows me all products that are not online anymore. Now for ball.com specifically, if I click into an item on the right hand side under competitor pricing, I can see an event history. And on this event history, we show as of now offers or products that got either delisted or listed again with the timestamp accordingly. And if I go now all the way back, go back to the repriser, then we have the final update also only for bold.com. If I click at bold.com repriser options, you are now able to aim for a specific price star rating. If I click, for example, five price stars, then the repriser will make sure your products are competitively priced that you achieve this rating. And that's it for all the updates. If you want to know more about them, go to helpcenter.channable.com. That's it from my side. Wish you all the best. Bye.